Well, I've finally got the um, rings two and three glued together as one piece. It's still not, um, so that's this centre section, but that's not actually glued to the base. Uh, I've just got the dome sitting on the top there, which I can just get into the uh, onto my bench if I move the light out of the way. So uh, the dome's sitting a bit proud because I haven't sorted out that lazy Susan section. So this has got to sit inside somehow. So I've got to work on that bit. Um, so that's um, so that's as far as I've got for the moment. It's still just gluing at the front here. So I'll start taking it apart, and you'll see. Um, or stripping it back down again so I can uh, put the, the front section on. Okay, so that's the arm section, uh, which I've just got to finish off gluing. That slot in there. Which it fits really well, actually, that's good. It's the upper ring, or the top ring, I think it's called. That'll screw in there. I've made these two pieces. Well, I'm not going to glue them on yet. Um, I think once you've actually glued them on, in case you snap this arm, I don't think you could ever get into it again, so I'm not quite sure what will happen with that. Maybe that'll just screw in. I'll, I'll see how that all goes together. Because I could just screw that in rather than glue that down, uh, which would allow me to slide this whole arm section back out again, if you see what I mean. So I'll have a look at that. That's the back pieces. As I say, they're, they're fine. Well, there's a touch of... Uh, um, collapse there on those two new. I, I'd um, printed that. I'd sliced this slot earlier on in the year and then printed it, but I've re-sliced these sections and just printed them. So that's okay. But that's just slightly collapsing. But I'm certainly going to do these top sections. Just see inside the bits of paper. Are just so I don't glue that. Uh, so no glue slips down between the uh, rings two and three. The slot that you've got to hold the keep the, the hole is in there. That's where the pin goes. That back door, so you can get a, um, an arm in there. Just reprinted these doors this morning. the old piece that used to sit in there but uh, it just curved right in so it's worth redoing. doing. Just started printing all these little bits and pieces the uh, the hinges and uh, they sort of go in there somehow. I'll go in like that I assume. Go in like that. Anyway. They're quite useful to use up scraps of PLA on these little bits because uh, I've got lots of sort of almost finished reels so it's ideal to get all these little pieces to use up. And that's the servo base for somewhere. <laughs> inside. I can't remember which bit it is. These are the, the coin slot pieces which I'll put on later. I'll glue in later. And more more gears and uh, more um, hinges and stuff. There's also, you can see various points inside where you can bolt through. So there's a couple of bolt throughs there. You can, these, these just, uh, that, that section comes off that, that piece there. Well, it comes off at the moment. There are some bolts where you can bolt through the frame. But I think once, that's, once that top, 
I think once this top section's bolted in, it will, it will lock the whole thing together really well because the base is really solid. Um, just, uh, you know, this, this piece is really well glued um, and well, it feels really strong. Certainly my end move is really strong, so I'm expecting this to be. I can't see any problem with that at all. I don't want to shake the bench too much, we've got a print going on. This is the Lazy Susan. I'm not 100% sure how all this um, mounts together. I've sort of read the instructions a few times, but I'm still a bit confused. But um, I think I've got to step this off. And I'm going to have to reread it. I was waiting to actually put it together so it's a lot easier to sort of work out how, how it works once it's in one piece. Um, I've lost this section. I, I printed this, this piece here, but I, I cannot find it anywhere. I've printed all these um, sections up. I haven't done any of them, I just uh, literally printed them. So, how all that fits together, that'll be uh, another thing to look at later. Also printed the motor support and the uh, the gear to go on there. I suppose it goes that way around. But I'm going to try, as I think I mentioned a few times, um, I bought the, the, the motor, but I'm going to try a large servo on this one, which I have a few lying around uh, of the big big Hitec 850s, um, which I'm going to try on there. I've got one I've modified for continuous use, so to to, uh, to rotate that. So we'll see if that's powerful enough. It should be, because they're very, they're very powerful. If it can lift a robot arm, um, it's only really down to the gearing ratios, I suppose, if it can't get enough uh, gearing going on. But uh, we'll have a look at that. So to mount the to mount that servo, I'd have to um, get it, you know, designed uh, a little um, adapter bracket somehow in Fusion 3D, which should be good. And once I've finished printing all this, I've got to start printing the arms, I suppose. So there's a lot more printing to do. So uh, that will do for today.